Hey guys, um, it's your girl Bonita. Um, so I haven't posted. I think it's been like maybe two weeks, so that's that's not too bad. Um, I had, <clears throat> excuse me, I had took a stress test like the end of August, and it had came back that uh, a portion of my heart was not um, pumping. Uh, like it was supposed to when I'm under stress. So I had to do a cardiac cath. And I had did that on the 10th of September. It wasn't painful. Um, I was woke basically for the whole, well, I'm not gonna say I was woke. I was in and out. Like every now and again, I open my eyes, I'll see him, the surgeon or the doctor, and then I close my eyes. and. So I was, I was on light sedation, but I was like in and out, in and out. And it was like an hour and a half. Luckily, everything came back normal. Everything came back fine. So I didn't need to have, I didn't need to have a stent put in or a stents, plural. So now I, like literally as soon as I woke up, I was like, can you call my plastic surgeon? <laughs> so to get this um, reconstruction um, finished. So... I end up contacting her the following day with my nurse and I have some of the vacationing doctors in the world. My oncologist, he's gone for a few weeks, a few weeks and my plastic surgeon is on vacation till Monday. So, and then she, my nurse won't be in until Tuesday. So she won't be able to actually talk with him until Tuesday when she comes in, but she did say that I'm the first person on her call this Tuesday morning after she speaks with Dr. Shahadi. So, um, that's good. I, I'm so happy that it came back. I was a little worried. I'm not even going to lie. I was worried for one, for one thing. They was going by my heart, which is terrifying. I'm very, I'm not tremendously young, but I am young. I have four children and... It, it gets scary, but then when I woke up and he was explaining everything, he I actually gave me a picture. I should have brought it to show you guys, but he brought he gave me a picture of my arteries <laughs> and and basically showing that they was not clogged up. Every it was clear, everything was perfectly fine. <clears throat> so um, yeah, so that was actually great news. My sister. Hi, Paula. I love you. Um, she came down, her and her daughter, my niece, Kayla, they came down from Illinois to be with me and my procedure. My boyfriend was with, was with, with us, sorry, <laughs> was with us as well. Um, and the kids, of course, was at school, but um, I'm just happy that everything went perfectly fine with the whole um cardiac cath and nothing major had to be done everything came back clear my blood pressure it was a little elevated but let me say this um whenever i go to the hospital especially when i'm having like surgery or any kind of procedure done my blood pressure always elevate because i'm nervous i try not to be but your mind and your body inside is like you know we know you're nervous we're gonna shoot it up a little bit but um it was way better than before. Like, any of my other surgery, I was easily. It's nothing to be bragging about, but I'm just saying that it's a good thing for me. Because I'm easily 220 over 121 or 200 over 100. But this one was like 175 over, I think it was like 93, if I'm not mistaken. And that's actually pretty good because my normal blood pressure is not even that low. Well, lately, for like the last... Two and a half, three weeks, my blood pressure has been actually excellent. I take it at least, it might sound like I'm lying or exaggerating, but at least seven to eight times a day because I take a log. So when I go see my um, primary doctor um, or my plastic surgeon or anybody that I have to do a procedure with, I show them all my blood pressure. So I, I have the date, the time, um, and then it's... It, uh, <clears throat> I also have like before my blood pressure medicine, after my blood pressure medicine, you know, so they can know how my blood pressure was before my meds was taken and then after my medication was taken. 
And I want to say I've been seeing a lot of normal blood pressures for the last couple of two, two, two or three weeks. Um, it's been like 125 over, um, uh, 125 over 73. Uh, it, it, it has been very, very good for me. I've, I haven't seen that, you know, blood, a normal blood pressure. I want to say in years, and this, when I say years, it can be possibly a decade. And, um, I'm just happy that, um, it's coming down because I, I, I noticed a difference in me now than I was than before when my blood pressure was high. I was more tired. I I I, I wouldn't faint, but I get a lot of dizzy spells. Headaches was horrible. Um, I wasn't feeling too well. Um, I was nauseous. It was a lot of things that was going on with me um, when my blood pressure was extremely high, and. Um, So I just wanted to give you all an update of what was going on with me. Um, I'm going to try to take some time out again today to, to do just another story time or just post another video to give you all two videos today. Um, yeah, so please like, subscribe, and comment. And give me any, you know, advice or <sighs> suggestions for other videos that I can do. Um, have a great day. I'll see you later. Peace.